Let's see who can get their bike running first. Five, four, three, two, gonna get this all done it just started raining so hopefully that doesn't continue because I'm not dressed for that kind of weather but let's get at it That garden is all planted all all the stones are in all ready to go that tractor you see moving around back there I, I had it parked over here and some dummy I'm not saying who probably me it was me uh, left the fuel lost the fuel cap and then left it outside uh, with all the rain we've been having and so that had to be dealt with and so as you can see it was running and is now in the barn tractor behind me it now has to go in the shop here it's got troubles we're not dealing with it today, but I'm putting it inside, getting the property cleaned up a little bit better. So, it has to come in here. Chaos t-shirt. If you don't know what organized chaos is, look it up. That's how you spell it backwards. Um, and uh, this this shirt is like one of my first picks for weather like this. You should get a hold of one. Uh, Thirty bucks. The the trees they of course grow out further and further into the field, and to be able to farm along there, that we got to keep trimming them back. We got to go up pretty high because we're we're going to be using some big equipment. Well, the farmer that's going to be doing it this year will be using some big equipment. And so that's why we're in the back of the bucket uh, to be able to reach the trees.
Melissa wants that freezer over there. We've already moved the kayak and our dirt bike out of the way, but we need to get that freezer out of here. We're checking things off the list pretty quickly today. I'm now sitting in a tractor. This tractor at the end of harvest last year was uh, misbehaving. We could make it uh, start, but only by uh, cheating and jumping the starter motor. Um, so we are following wires right now. And if you've ever followed wires before on anything, it can be fun. Um, and so we're, we're tangling around in this wiring harness right now, trying to follow a wire back. And we did just see some sparks, which might sound bad, but it's uh, actually a good sign. I mean, uh, it could be a good sign that we found a problem. And so we're about to tear some more covers off. My dad's going to get some wrenches. And so let's see how this goes. Okay, so we did discover the problem here. Um, it wasn't where we saw the sparks. That was a different problem. So we're gonna solve that at the same time. That was uh, some of the uh, glow plug wires. They, uh, they've broken off. Um, and, but the problem was the, that orange wire that you can see back there, it goes into a bunch of different connections, blah, blah, blah. It keeps going all the way through, down through, back to this side, up again, down back in through here, back, and eventually makes its way out to the starter motor, which is outside the cab down right there. And somewhere in between all that, there is a break. And so we're just going to run a new wire. Good morning. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's still morning. So uh, I've decided I'm going out riding, which I'm not like an avid rider. Uh, I, my group of circle, I'm not bad, but I'm not racetrack worthy or anything like that. I, I, I ride trail. I haven't ridden in almost a year, and it was like a year before that I had ridden, so I'm probably pretty rusty. So first thing we're gonna do is try and get this bike running. Um, I invited my dad and my sister to come along, so we're gonna get their bikes running as well. Uh, this is, I put a battery charger on it last night, and so we're gonna see what starts. All right, does it start? Let's see who can get their bike running first. I said earlier, Sean's looking for trouble, so just looking out for that. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, got her open. Ha <laughs> ha 